It's a short walk from Dublin's Custom House to Dublin's Convention Centre. Yet the two iconic buildings chart a history from the modern state to a state born from war. Fine Gael's roots lie in the building of the fledgling new state, with W.T. Cosgrave heading the Executive Council in 1922. Ninety years is a long time, and from W.T. Cosgrave until 1997, only John A. Costello, Liam Cosgrave, Garrett Fitzgerald and John Bruton held the office of Taoiseach. They served less than 20 years between them. A decade ago, Enda Kenny became leader of a dispirited and broken party. Today, he leads the biggest party in the state. It's been 15 years since Fine Gael held an Ordesh as a party of government. The decision to hold this weekend's Ordesh here, in the heart of Dublin Central, says everything about the changed political landscape. One thing hasn't changed much. The party has a knack of ending up in government in the worst of times. It happened after 77, and they were in in the 80s. And again now, but that's just the way it falls. Well, the fact they have to do is tough and unpopular, but it's just nice to see them in government and getting their chance at it and see what they can do. And so, some 4,000 delegates milled about the stunning convention centre. There was a strange atmosphere. Here they were, the first political party to hold an Ordesh at this venue. They so wanted to shout for joy at being in government, at being the largest party in the state. But there was another reality outside. Protests over the household charge on one side of the building, and a few yards down the quays, another symbol. The empty shell of what was to be the new headquarters of Anglo-Irish Bank. How neat. The story from birth to boom and bust in three buildings. And at the centre of it all stood Enda Kenny. He heads a government facing the toughest of economic challenges. Yet there is little room for excuses. People are still making huge sacrifices. His government has the biggest majority in the history of the state. At times it has been smart and assured. Other times it has been flat-footed, contradictory and arrogant. He delivered his first leader's address as Taoiseach last night. Behind him sat those, some now ministers, who less than 18 months ago conspired to finish his political career. Fine Gael has form when it comes to party leaders. But Kenny has earned his place. He leads a party never better positioned to serve not just one, but two full terms. But that ultimately will depend upon results. Still, who could ever have imagined that Enda Kenny would be the Taoiseach heading a government now preparing for the centenary of 1916?